literally have not been able to do anything for over a month now because I have nothing. Got robbed. Twice in one week. And they took everything. So, yeah. So, have big setbacks because all my tools are gone. I mean, everything they took my drill my driver circular saw angle grinder the box of bits they took my shop back. i had two shop backs took my shop backs extension cords ladders they took my cha folding chairs they took they took the packs of trash bags and paper towels they took my hand soap i mean everything cleaned it out they even took, okay, these shingles right here were in a plastic storage container top. They flipped it over and dumped it out to use the container to fill up with stuff and walk out the front door. Oh, they did it with the shot back too, They right? did it with the shot back. Empty. Emptied the shot back. It, right here. This, it was full of dust and dirt because they took out the bags and tore them open and emptied them all out right here to use the container of the shot back as some sort of bucket to walk out with stuff. Backpacks, filled with stuff, walked out the front door. I mean, it's really amazing how coordinated this was. And this all happened, the very last video we did outside, it happened that night. And so we have we just stopped everything. It's like they were watching all the tools I had or something. And didn't nobody see nothing, right? Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. No neighbors, didn't nobody oh, saw nothing? Nobody, nobody saw anything. Nobody heard anything? Oh yeah. No. The next time they came in, they took everything that they had left the first time. And that's when they took stupid stuff. The folding chairs, the ladder, the trash bags, all that kind of stuff. It's like, oh my gosh. And still, nobody saw nothing. Yeah. So this is the first time they came in. Came in through here. So I've had boarded it up now. Broke my old wavy glass. You know, came in here. There was glass everywhere. All my tools took absolutely everything out of here. Left the plywood. How dumb are they? I mean, I got hundreds of dollars worth of plywood in here. Yeah. These are the same people that will bust out the bricks of your foundation to steal $10 worth of copper. Oh, oh yeah. I mean, oh, so. Yeah. I had a copper tray in there. They left the copper tray. <laughs> they left that. Wow. Well, yeah. well, they did get good stuff, but yeah. uh, whatever. The second time they came in, they broke out the window that had already fixed from the last time. But this time, they busted the whole thing out with the munton and everything. Busted it out. There were handprints all in here where they just crawled right in. Well, you know, they weren't fat then. Oh, no, no, they weren't. Because the, the footprints all through here, you know, because they dumped out the dust, the, the shot back. So there was dust and dirt everywhere. And they're like, you know, shoe prints were everywhere looking like some sketchers or kids or something like that, you know. Small footprints. Small footprints. So I think it was some girl. A or girl? Or, or a young boy. It was small. It was not some man she printed here. It was small. Like, you know. Like what we would wear? Like, or smaller. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. So would you, you got what, alarm system now? Or? Uh, oh yeah, oh yeah. I learned a real expensive lesson. So I've got an alarm system. I've got motion detectors and cameras everywhere. They immediately call the cops. Like, you know, so. You want to try again? I'm gonna know, and you go in jail. So I've had to make some choices I didn't want to make, like I, like putting on this door is not historically accurate. But I have no choice. I cannot keep these hoodlums out, you know. And so now I'm boarded up all the windows. I've had to, you know, put more plywood or OSB over every single window. You know, with screws that you can't, that aren't normal screws, and it's, and it looks awful. It looks even more hood than it ever, ever was, but I have to, and I'm just hoping that once I get things done, and this house isn't vacant anymore, I can take all this stuff off, you know, put back on some historically appropriate finishes, but until then, it's like, man, I can't keep people out of here. I got, I, I got no choice. 
So, took off the other door and put on this security door. Um, because, and I got it keyed on both sides. Uh, Cause they kept bossing in windows and then opening up the front door and walking out with everything. So now they get in, they ain't getting out. Since I still gotta store my tools and store all my building materials and stuff, I had to come up with a solution because I can't keep it in the house anymore. So I got one of these babies, steel shipping container. I've got a big old lock box welded on here. So when it's shut, you can't get any bolt cutters around here to cut it. But then I also, in every single one of these places where it shuts, I got locks in all of them. Got everything stored in here. And it's hot in here, and it sucks having to walk all the way over here, but again, mm -hmm. I got no choice. So, this is going to be my solution from now on. There's a bathtub. There's a bathtub, there's a toilet. So, they didn't steal the bathtub? They did not steal the bathtub. They're like dirty people. They didn't want to. I know dirty butts. They stole my soap, but not the bathtub. Mm -hmm. Go figure. Lessons learned going forward, and for all of you guys considering this, especially if you're working in a hood. When you're filing insurance, they want so much stuff. I had to prove, I have to show receipts of when I bought the items. So keep all your receipts. Then I had to show proof that I actually had the items. So I had pictures or copies of the uh, instruction manuals, something to prove that I actually owned the item. Then I had to go and print all kinds of stuff of replacement value. What's it going to cost me to replace all this stuff? So I've been doing paperwork like this for like oh, weeks now coming yeah. up with oh, stuff and 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 it's also things like remembering what i had you know like i'm going through and I'm like it's not until i think like oh I, I need this tool i'm like oh that's gone too you know and when you're making a police report they show up and they go what are you missing right then and you can't possibly remember everything so there's stuff that i forgot you know and then little things like the drill bits or extra screws or little things like that it's just it is mind-numbing all the stuff that you need for your police reports and for your insurance. So uh, make sure that you've kept all that stuff. And also, I had my tools marked and like taped with certain things so they're identifiable, but I don't know if that's going to help me get them back because unless somebody actually tries to pawn them or something at a like real reputable pawn shop, you know, they're just gone forever. So even just doing that, when I thought I was safe, I had my initials and my tape on everything, yeah, it's, it's not. It didn't deter anybody, it didn't do nothing.